Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. And also remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. But what we're going to be talking about today is SwapX and the VE33 model. Now, without having too many details from the white paper on SwapX, what we can do is have a look at a similar project on the Binance Smart Chain called Pancakes, what we all know what it is, and their VE33 model. So I'll link their white paper for the VE model in the description so you can have a read of it yourself. But basically, what we're going to do is have a look at it on here. So if you remember, back in the day, you could just stake cake singularly and earn cake. It's since changed and evolved into VE cake. So for instance, I'm going to use 10,000 cake as a benchmark. So what you have to do now is you go to the cake staking pool, which is no longer the syrup pool, it's VE. You can stake your cake, Poet didn't know it, and you can sort of choose how long you want to lock it up for. So if you choose 10,000 staked for a week, you receive 24 VE cake tokens. And what the VE cake is, it's not a tradable token, it's like a receipt. So your cake goes in and you get like a virtual cake. Now VE stands for voting, voting escrow or vote escrow token. We'll move on to that in a minute. I just want to keep it really simple. Now I'm not saying you guys are stupid because I have to learn as well but there's going to be people who are like just give me the too long didn't read. So you decide how long you want to lock it up for. The longer you lock it up for the more VE cake you get back. If you lock it for four years you pretty much get one to one just under in VE cake. Now, why would you do any of this? Well, firstly, you can stake cake and earn cake, and you can also get votes. So if we move down to the benefits of what we're gonna do, so let's just pretend we're staking that for four years. Let's say we've got 10,000, 10,000 back, give or take. So you will earn cake from staking your VE tokens. That's the first part. This is like the similar to the syrup pools if you like and it works in epochs and you get distributed rewards every week i think it is on the this side so you get your reward amount in cake and you also get another reward which is um from the revenue sharing so fees so you get some of the fees from the protocol it's that simple you stake cake you earn cake it's pretty simple but the other side to the coin is what they call, I'm not saying SwapX are going to call it this, but Pancakes what call it gauges voting. So boost rewards on your favourite farms, claim additional incentives from other protocols. Now if we look at the SwapX white paper and go to the VE33 section, you'll see it's split into three parts. Traders, which is the end consumer, they swap the tokens like you know we all do. If you want to swap BNB into USDT, we're trading the tokens. Liquidity providers, which you all know I love, um, that is us where we will pick a specific pool, two tokens. We will provide liquidity and set our range in that pool, and we will receive an APR based on how tight or how wide our range is. That incentivizes the protocols to give us more incentives with APRs and stuff because they get a deeper liquidity, which means less price impact when people are trading into their liquidity pool. So let's say cake USDT. If we set a, a nice tight range on that and we receive 365%, that's 1% a day, people who are trading the cake USDT token get less of a price impact because we're providing more liquidity. And their bribe to us is, here's more APR and stuff like that. And then you've got partner protocols. That's my son in the background. Behave. Off. No. Off there. It's not a climbing frame, it's a settee. Uh, a partner protocol is a project in the DeFi space that provides a specific service or functionality and using the resources SwapX offers deploys its liquidity to the pools to allow trade in its token and organic growth. 
They can use bribes and incentives to attract attention and drive up their tokens' price and liquidity. By offering bribes to a specific pool, protocols incentivize voting, hold, voting holders to vote for that pool. So basically, what we're talking about is this. And I'm showing you the pancake swap one, remember. So this is the distribution of votes to a certain pool. So 23.5 million VE cake has been voted on. So you've got others. M cake cake. And then you've got the cake pool, which is the VE cake pool that I showed you here. So remember this, the emissions in this are based on the amount of votes that are being given to that particular pool. So that pool has received 13.5% of the votes. So obviously emissions go higher into that pool. You earn more rewards the more votes you get. You've got USDT and ETH, and then if you look up here, Cake USDT. Now, if we go to the Pancake Swap white paper, it will talk about gauges voting. So basically, you think of um, products that require cake emissions as a series of gauges, which was that nice little chart thing I showed you. So VE cake holders can use their VE cake as votes to decide how much percentage of cake goes to what product. The more VE cake a gauge accumulates through the voting, the more emissions, cake emissions, will be allocated to the underlying liquidity pool position manager vault. Core gauges are important, so there's two types. There's core and non-core. Cake emissions to the former are controlled by the kitchen, while the community influences emissions to non-core pools by voting with VEK. So a core pool includes the big pairs, the Bitcoin, the ETH, the BNB, the USDT, USDC, etc. The kitchen automatically um, ensures that those pairs receive sufficient cake rewards. So basically what they're saying there is, Let's say SwapX has a kitchen. Obviously, it's pancake, so they'll call it the kitchen. Let's say SwapX has got core and non-core. So their core vault will deal with the big pairs because they need liquidity all the time because they're popular. So there's going to be lots of fees for the protocol. The non-core gauges basically mean that we can sort of influence them as, as a democratic society. So... You know, say I've got 20,000 swap X, VE swap X, or whatever it's going to be called. And I say, right, I'm voting all of my 20,000 VE swap X tokens for the, you know, Lee slash USDT pool because I'm going to give the, the voters 500% because I need their liquidity to prevent my price dipping too much when there's a sell or mooning too much when there's a big buy because. Price impact happens on the way up, not just on the way down. And it's not a great experience for the traders, which is one of the three people in the, you know, the ecosystem, if they are having to pay 40 or 50% slippage due to the price impact because the liquidity on the Lee USDT token, or liquidity pool, sorry, isn't deep enough. Liquidity is a very important part of how we trade. A lot of the times you won't really see an impact because you're trading BNB and Cake and USDT and Bitcoin, Ethereum. They've got super high liquidity, very, very deep. So your little 10 grand sell isn't going to affect the price as much as it would if you only had 50 grand. So the gauges voting system and whatever SwapX call it is important to steer the emissions of the SwapX token that we'll receive in, in rewards as a dividend. And it's kind of like it's integral to the way VE33 works. And obviously, we've, we've all got a lot to learn about how to vote and stuff like that. But it's pretty simple on the pancake swap side. And I assume it's going to be the same as we move over to swap X on the X1 chain. So it's a super exciting, innovative, new way of staking cake singularly. It gamifies it. It enables us to maybe steer our votes in a direction that is going to make us a little bit more money and obviously you have to decide what to do with your tokens and you also have to decide how long you want to lock them up for because if you're locking them up for a week you're going to get less votes if you're locking them up for longer you're going to get more votes so the play is playing one off against the other for me personally i am going to lock up 
70% of my, maybe 80% of my swap X tokens for the maximum length. And I always said I would never lock up capital, big amounts of capital for a long time ever again. Because you've got to think there is some impermanent loss. For instance, if you lock up 20,000 cake today at $3, that's not the exact price, but let's say $3. It's probably four now. And so you've locked up a lot of money's worth of cake for four years. And the price of cake in the ball run goes to $50. And you add 20,000 of them. You're going to be sitting there thinking, God damn, I've done it again. But if you are bullish on the VE mechanism and you've got all of that staked and you've got mostly, mostly back in VE tokens, you're going to have a lot of votes. You're also going to have a lot of the share of... I tried to find my mouse then. It's actually on the trackpad. <laughs> you're going to earn a lot of um, rewards. Let me show you. So let's say you have your 20,000 in here. Your share of the pool is going to be decent. And you're going to be receiving a decent amount of cake swap X. As like a mini DAP inside of a DAP. So you've got your ROI on this side. You're helping the protocol by not cheating all of your swap X tokens. So liquidity stays deep. And then you've also got the voting side. You've got a lot more power than someone stake for one week. Because if you remember... Go back to this. If you stake 10,000 for a week, you've got 24 votes. Whereas I will have 9,928. So my influence in the protocol is a lot higher than yours. Of course, your tokens get released earlier, but then you get none of the share of the rewards on the ROI side of the project. So that's how VE33 works in under 10 minutes there's a lot more to it and i'm going to be doing some live streams as we approach the launch of swap x and we get to read a little bit more on the white paper you know obviously we have got the ve33 section which you can read but i assume we're going to be doing a lot more deep diving into how it works so for me i think personally that the ve33 model is is amazing and when we get to see the swap x version of it oh, i mean I can't wait. None of us know what the price of swap X is going to be. You can make your guesses. You can take a gamble on the price, but we just don't know. Obviously, um, with it being a new project, it's going to be interesting to see how people behave when you know they get their swap X. How many people are going to be buying it? Because that's the other thing. Obviously, just like cake, it. I assume it's going to be open for trading. You can just buy it and sell it and trade it, hold it, uh, which you can actually because it's in the white paper. So. On the day of launch, I'm going to try and pick up maybe another thousand dollars worth if I can get hold of another thousand dollars after buying the NFTs. Um, but I would like to buy some on, on day one because if you just think of it as a token on day one, you're there. And I would like a lot of votes and I would like my share of the VE pool to be quite high because if Swap X does, you know, a 20X in a bull run, let's say, just putting it out there. Your share of that pool is huge. You're going to be earning a lot of passive income whilst getting a hell of a lot of votes. It's up to you how you want to play it. So you buy it or you earn it, you stake it, you get your VE receipt tokens. You can vote on um, non-cores, non-core pools, get some incentives, get some nice APRs, throw some of your swap X in if it's a pair on that pool. USDT, swap X, swap X, OKB. Who knows how many pools there's going to be, but I assume there, there will be some decent cake-like pools for us to play around in. And I think we're going to see some really nice APRs, uh, not Genesis levels, but definitely nice APRs to get us started to incentivize our votes and our liquidity provision. So let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. If you're struggling, join my Telegram. If you're struggling, join the SwapX Telegram. And also, we've got a paid community. It's $25 a month. There's 15 legends in there if you want to come and join us the link's in the description below but this is free content and always will be free so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one take it easy and happy sunday bye